Start where you are with what you have is a concept that I wanted to share with you guys in this video and show you guys why productivity and really trying to maximize your efforts and working harder isn't always the best way to accomplish the most results. Now, my name is Bashar Ketu. If you're new to the channel, um, I'm the founder of BJK University, a education company with the mission to impact 1 million lives. If this is your first time, consider subscribing and let us know in the comment sections what kind of content you'd like to see from this channel as we'd like to create some videos that will actually cater to your needs and you know all the things that you are trying to learn. So one thing that I realized when I first started my entrepreneurial journey, um, I started seeing around me people wanting to start something and usually they go out of their way to get the kit of how to start this thing successfully and wanting to do all these hacks and tricks before they even took one step forward. So just to kind of make it clear for you, I'm going to give you an example. First is someone, it's November or December, they decide that they want to hit the gym next year for a new year resolution and they want to start, you know, getting in shape and lose weight or whatever their goal is. So what they do is they usually go to the gym and get a membership and then they're going to go in, go out and, and maybe go to Nike or go to the Adidas store and get them brand new shorts, brand new shoes, uh, you know, brand new uh, a bag and then do all these uh, cool things and gloves and all that stuff just so that they can actually get started. And then, you know, New Year's comes around and then they start going to the gym. But what happens is because the thing that they really wanted to do wasn't as, you know, they were not as invested. They were looking at all the artificial um, you know, uh, desires or all the artificial things that will actually get them into the gym, which is looking good and, and making sure that they have the right equipment. The thing that they actually forgot about was doing the thing and going to the gym and actually working out and maybe investing in a coach or investing in a trainer or starting to look at, you know, different, uh, workouts and, and, and building their, um, their routines and building what they need. For me personally, when I first started my online entrepreneurial journey in 2015, I simply just looked around the house and I used whatever I had. And at the time I had a thick Toshiba laptop that was about an inch and a half. And I just simply said, you know, I'm going to get started. And it barely works. It had a cracked screen. I went and spent $20, $30, got the screen going. And then I just simply got going. And then from there, I just started working. And I realized that Oftentimes I would be awake until two, three, four o'clock in the morning. And then I wanted to start waking up at six o'clock so I can go do Uber and then come back. And then at three, four o'clock, go help my brother and, you know, try to, uh, uh, in his business. And then after I spend a few hours at night doing my Amazon business. But then when I realized this, I was doing so many things all at the same time, but wanting to get great results. And I realized that in order for me to really get great, great results was not about trying to, you know, wake up at 4 a.m. or trying to, you know, hack my sleep or trying to do 75 dif different things, but instead focusing on the thing that really moved the needle further for me. And for me, at the time, I saw the potential with my Amazon business and I saw what it could become in two, three, five, ten 10 years. And for that reason, number one, I quit the job with my brother, although that was a cash cow for me. I was making three, four thousand dollars a month from I decreased the amount of hours that I was spending driving for Uber, although that was another great source of income for me. And instead, I started sleeping more. And instead of sleeping four or five hours, I started sleeping six, seven, eight hours. And in fact, now I don't sleep less than seven or eight hours. Because one thing that I realized that it's not about the, you know, the shorter time you, 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 uh, you sleep or try to hack this or hack that. It's about what you're doing in the time that you are awake. How are you spending that time? You know, how efficient are you spending that time? And then making sure that you build yourself a, uh, a schedule and you actually stay disciplined and stick to it over and over and over again. And that's what I realized that really was moving the needle further for me. It wasn't about, you know, when I was working for Uber or when I was doing this. It was about the time that I was really spending in front of my computer investing in my Amazon business. How was I utilizing this? And this is when I started implementing the uh, concept of KISS into my life, which I have a video in this channel where I talk about it, which is removing distractions from my life and then making sure that whenever I spent 
a minute or an hour or a day doing something, it was the most efficient as possible. I didn't have my phone next to me. I didn't have five or 10 different windows open on my computer. When I did one thing, I just did that one thing and then I just simply stuck to it. If I was tired, I took a nap. If I didn't feel like working, I did not work. If I wanted to take a nap midday, I took a nap midday. If I wanted to start a business, I didn't go and try to figure out every single step and figure out every single, you know, ins and outs and, and, and have the best running computer and then have everything and simply, you know, uh, 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 in order for me to start that business, I just started and I trusted myself to figure it out. There's this mic that I just got. This cost me about $350, $400. And it's very professional. I don't like the fact that it's sticking out of my, my desk, but I just recently got it. And up until now, I've been simply using the audio in my computer, right, to record videos. I've been a YouTuber for about four or five years. I've been literally using the audio in my computer. Just recently, I got this mic. And maybe you guys have noticed the, the audio quality. You know, until now, I still use my phone camera to record this video. And, and it's not even the back camera, it's the front camera. So right now I'm looking at myself in the camera, right? And I have a hollow ring that actually is, you know, uh, projecting light on my face. And that's why sometimes you see, you know, my face, you know, it's got like dark spots or whatever. But that's because for me, it doesn't matter. I don't need to have, you know, professional cameras and all these lighting and then professional audio and all this stuff. I like creating videos. I like giving you guys... Um, uh, valuable insight. I like to share my experience. I like to share the things that I have gone through in my life and simply give them out to you because I don't want you to go through the same mistakes. I want you to accelerate your learning curve. I want you to, you know, jump the hoops that I have to go to. And instead of you going like this, I want you to go like that because I figured what this looks like and then I can help you avoid this thing right here. So I want to share my experience with you. So whether if I'm recording on my phone camera, whether if I have a professional mic or not, it doesn't matter. I've been recording YouTube videos since 2017. And just now in 2022, I actually went and got myself a professional mic. And I mean, it's not even that professional. It was like a hundred bucks or something. And it was actually a gift from my marketing team. They said, hey man, you're echoing all over the place. You just need to sound a little bit better. I said, okay, whatever. And then they got it for me, right? This mic in our company meetings, everyone's like, man, we love you. Our, tr our stories are inspiring, but you're echoing and maybe you guys still can hear the echo because my room is empty because again, it goes back to the concept of kiss, keeping it simple, stupid. I don't have, you know, paintings on walls. I don't have a, a nice rug. I don't have, uh, uh, you know, just things laying on the, on, the, uh, on the walls for no reason. That's why it's echoey. I got a whiteboard. I got my desk. I only have a couple things on my desk. I've got my laptop. And that's why sometimes, you know, I even get people talking shit about me saying, hey man, you're using this old MacBook Air. Yeah, it's an, a laptop but that my wife got me about four years ago and I'm still using it. It works, you know, but that's what it is. It's not about having the most professional things. It's not about, you know, waking up at 4 a.m. It's not about, you know, uh, spe working 18 hours in a day, which at times those things are important, but it's about the time that you're working. How efficient is that time? How smart are you working? You know, are you building yourself a team? And I know when you're starting, you're going to be a solopreneur doing every single thing by yourself, but it's also good to join groups, to join communities, to be part of people, groups that are wanting to improve and that wanting to, you know, increase their status and increase their knowledge, increase their awareness and surrounding yourself with those people, because those are the people that are going to help you in your journey with uh, uh, you know, where and take you where you want to go or help you, lift you, give you a little push to where you're trying to go. So again, my message for you in this video is start where you are with what you have. And it's not about the time that you're actually spending doing the thing. It's about how productive you are while you are doing it. So I could literally spend one hour doing one thing while someone else could spend five hours doing the same exact thing and I'll get more done in one hour than they would in five hours simply because I am more focused, I am more disciplined, I have things laid out perfectly that I'm going to be following every single time where they are all over the place and they have all these notifications popping on their phone or on their laptop and then they're being dragged into this direction and being dragged into that direction and, and really the only time that they're actually putting into that thing is about 30, 45 minutes where I just sit for one hour, I get it done and then I move out. Hope this video found you well. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button for me. 
And do me a favor and share this video with some of your peers. We'd le really love to see some of your peers showing up to this channel and really getting the same value that you are getting. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.